everybody. I'll just let this run for a few minutes and see who's coming online. Let me know if this is working. I can see someone's just logged on. Please send me a comment. Let me know who you are and where you're watching from today. that you can click on and you can write me something let me know who you are it doesn't tell me who's watching it just shows me how many people are watching minutes so that people can trickle online so just get all your stuff together make yourself comfortable who else have we got please put a comment saying hello and where you're from Daria thank you beautiful for watching darling cousin thank you thank you for watching let me know also guys if the volume is okay is the music too loud can you hear the music this is my first live so I'm not sure how it's all sounding yet but please let me know I hope you can hear me clearly <clears throat> One second, guys. people from the States, we've got people from Indonesia, we've got people from Sydney and Brisbane. Thanks everyone for watching. I can hear you clearly and music is wonderful. Thank you Daria, that's awesome to know. So it's almost coming up to 10.30, we'll just let a few more people trickle in. might want to have a glass of water next to you or a pillow for the end when we do a shavasana and a, a reiki healing session so if you don't have any of that around at the moment just go and grab it doesn't matter if you don't have any of that around you'll still be all good Carla hello gorgeous we've got people from New Zealand watching now Thank you all for coming and supporting me and I hope that this session will support you. Me and the kids. Oh, hello little ones. <laughs> the whole family. Awesome. Yeah. 
beautiful. So we might as well start, guys. <coughs> so I want to start with uh, a meditation before we go into a yoga practice. Um, this meditation is specific for what's happening around the world right here, right now. So uh, I want to do this one seated. I, want us to, I don't want us to lay down because I don't want us to fall asleep. We want to we keep that energy flowing before our yoga session and we'll do a nice lying down meditation at the end. But get yourself into a comfortable seated position. You can cross your legs, you can have them out in front, you can sit on a pillow, a cushion, however you want to feel comfortable. And let's just take a few breaths together, settle ourselves. anything like me you've already crossed a few things off your list this morning and you've been go 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 since the Sun came up so now this is a permission for you to give an hour to yourself and to relax and to put your list to the side so let's begin by taking a moment to settle into our bodies however that is for you give yourself a little stretch shoulder rolls deep breaths give yourself a hug <laughs> Thank yourself for allowing yourself this time on the mat. And I want you to close down your eyes and begin breathing in and out through your nose. Rest your hands on your knees palms down, palms up, you can have your hands in your lap however you feel comfortable. Welcome John, we've even got my poppy and my auntie Kathy watching, thank you guys. Close your eyes and put your hands where they feel most comfortable. Tuck your chin just slightly so that you're releasing any tension from the back of your neck. During this stressful time of the unknown, I'd like to dedicate today's meditation to self-compassion. Taking a full breath in and a long, slow breath out. I invite you to think of a situation in your life right now that's challenging you. For most of us, it's directly linked to the coronavirus and how our friends, families and communities are being affected. Maybe you are feeling stressed about the health of yourself or someone you love. Maybe you're worried about money or the future of your business. A lot of us are now working from home and we're not used to being in each other's space 24 seven. So perhaps there is a newfound tension in one of your relationships. Find and bring your challenging situation to the forefront of your mind. Continuing to breathe in and out through your nose. Now that you're holding this in your mind, I invite you to consider these things. Firstly, simply acknowledge that this is just a difficult situation. Acknowledge your feelings and emotions surrounding it. Bring mindful awareness to what's happening in you right now. Secondly, acknowledge that difficulty is a part of life. It is something you've experienced and overcome before and everyone around you has experienced too. Remind yourself of our common humanity. That difficulty is a part of our experience on this earth 
and like everything else, it too will shift. Finally, I invite you to say to yourself, may I be kind to myself in this moment. Continue breathing in and out through your nose. I want to invite you to bring your hands up to your heart space. Rest, resting your hands there and offering kindness to yourself. Acknowledge that no matter how hard the situation is, you can still be kind to yourself. Use any language you'd like that supports this sense of kindness. Perhaps it's easier for you to choose wording you would offer to a loved one going through something similar. I'm here for you. It's going to be okay. You are loved. You are not alone. You are strong and healthy. You are in total control of how you feel. Adding any other words in there that you feel called to give to yourself. Take a moment now to take that kindness in and out through your breath. that recognition of compassion flowing through your bodies, we'll all finish with one more deep breath in, and a long exhale out. Bring your hands back to your knees, you can slowly open your eyes. everyone. We've got Holly from Jamaica now joins us. We've got Brittany from the States and Brooke from up north Queensland. Thank you everyone for joining me. I hope that now after that self-compassion meditation you're feeling a little bit more light and a little bit more bubbly inside. We can continue on to our yoga practice now. So shuffle yourself back a little bit on your mat. Excuse me, I'm just gonna press record on my phone. All right. Shuffle yourself back onto your mat. And I want you to bring your left foot in so that it's flat on the ground and your right foot just in front. So they're not stacked on top of each other. They're gonna be like this. Right foot in front, left foot in towards your pelvis. Put your palms on the earth. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, I want you to just walk your hands slowly forward. Just until you feel comfortable. This yoga practice is not gonna be a full-on exercise or a, a huge flexibility training. I just want to do something gentle and kind for our bodies right now. So if coming to your elbows is where you feel comfortable, do it. If you're comfortable here, do it. It's all about realizing where your body is at right here, right now, and allowing it the best feelings you can. So hold this position for a few breaths. Feel a beautiful stretch down your right glute and maybe
maybe some tightening in your hip flexors here. If you can reach your forehead to the ground, just roll it side to side. Give your third eye a bit of a, a massage and an awakening here. Another deep breath here. And on your exhale, slowly walk your hands back up to the center, back up to meet your legs. When you're back here, just want you to swap your feet, right foot in towards the pelvis, left foot out to the front. Palms on the ground, inhale. On your exhale, walk your hands out. Now there's something very special and beautiful about giving yourself complete permission to put your to-do list aside and stop your mind wandering and just allow this beautiful movement for your body to have. We don't, we don't give ourselves these guilty pleasures nearly enough in today's busy world but I feel very blessed to be at home right now in self-isolation and I can I can do this all day every day if I want for the next however long and I, I feel very blessed that I've figured out how to do a Facebook live and I can share it with you all so yes lots of new things happening Take your deep breaths here. Roll out your third eye if you can get your head to the ground. You take an inhale. And on your exhale, walk yourself up. Bringing yourself back up to center. And I want you to bring your legs out to the front. We can point our toes, we can flex our feet. However this feels comfortable for you, you'll get different stretches with different foot positions. So find what your body needs today. You can move out the fleshy sides of your, of your butt and your legs. You'll feel your sits bones touch the earth there and that can give you a little bit more grounding. You want to have a straight back here. And try not to hunch our shoulders or twist our pelvis in, just as straight as you can be here, chest open. I'm going to take an inhale and reach to the ceiling. And on the exhale, just fold forward. Like I said, today's not about flexibility or how far you can go. It's just about giving your body a little bit of love and attention. So hang your head, relax your arms. You can sway, you can move side to side, feel where the stretches are moving. The back of your neck, the back of your thighs, all the way down to your feet. And let's just hang here for a few breaths. While you're breathing, you can scan through your body and find if you're holding tension somewhere. You can breathe into that tension for a little while and release it. For me, I can feel it up in the top of my hips, in my hip flexors. So I'm going to close my eyes, put my focus on that part and breathe into it. And as I exhale, I'm going to just imagine it loosening in there. Let's take one more breath here. And exhale. Next inhale, walk yourself back up to centre. I want you to bring your feet together here. This is butterfly pose. So knees out to the side and bent feet together. 
move that fleshy bits of your glutes if that's, you know, if you're feeling you need to be a bit more stable. Chest open. You can bring your feet in close if that feels good for you. You can have them further away if that's more comfortable. If you need to put some cushions under your knees for some support, please do that as well. But otherwise, we're just going to reach up again. Inhale. And we're going to fold forward just to wherever you feel comfortable today. You can bring a cushion up and rest your head on a cushion. This can be quite an intense stretch for a lot of people. If you've got knee injuries, please put some pillows or some rolled up towels under your knees so there's no strain. This is one of my personal favorite stretches. This feels so fantastic for my lower back and my hips. Just take a few breaths here. I invite you to also make some noise while you're breathing, you know, release your breath as a sigh a couple of times or as a moan or a groan or even a grunt, you know, you've got full permission to sound. Most people restrict themselves in their, in their voices and how they express and I love to sigh, especially when I'm doing yoga. Give it a go and see, see what next level it can take you to releasing. Take a big inhale and just sigh. <sighs> On your next inhale, push yourself back up. Slowly grab your knees and bring them back up to the center. Help yourself out a bit here. Kick your legs out in front. Just give them a bit of a shake. That can be a pretty intense stretch for some. So wiggle them around, get some movement. We're gonna come on through to all fours now. We've got some more people watching. Roz, Megan, David. Oh, I've got my mum and my dad, my aunties, my pop. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Come on through to all fours. We're just going to take a few cat cows. So you want your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. No wider than your hips. And we're going to breathe in. We're going to drop our bellies. Pop our chests forward, our head up. Our pelvis is tilting back. So we're coming from neutral spine here to here. We're dropping the pelvis. Breathe in. And on the exhale, we're going to scoop our stomachs up. We're going to push our shoulders in into cat position. So we're doing the opposite here. We're going from one to the other with our breath. We inhale. Make sure your shoulders aren't bunching up around your neck here. Make your neck long. And exhale. Do a few more of these. Follow your own breath. If you want to go faster and get a bit more warmth and heat, go ahead. If you want to take it slow, please do that. Allow your body what it feels it needs right now. Next, inhale, bring yourself back to center, neutral spine, so keep it flat here. And I want you to just tilt your left hip to the left, and I want you to look over your left shoulder. So you're creating a crescent moon on the left side of your body here. You'll feel a nice stretch down the right side of your transverse abdominals. 
exhale back to center and on the inhale we're going to go to the right and, and continue doing this at your own pace too if you feel you want to hold the stretch longer do that if you want to go a bit faster do that inhale to look off to the side exhale to come back to center inhale you now to just flow with your body for a second if you want if you feel like you just need to have a little bit more movement if there's a few places we haven't reached yet in the spine warm-up take that you know if you want to push back into child's pose do that if you want to come forward have a bit of a <laughs> little cobra just flow with your own movement right now Give your body what it needs, what it wants. My favorite part about yoga is that there are no rules. There's no right or wrong way to do yoga. As long as you're listening to your body and you're not hurting yourself. <laughs> it's the most beautiful way to connect to your body with breath and with movement. So from here, I want everyone to meet me back in tabletop position. I want you to tuck under your toes at the back, and we're going to push up into our first downward dog. So if you haven't done one of these before, you're, you're pushing yourself up into a triangle here. Our feet hip width distance apart. And all the weight in our hands, we don't want this to be on our wrists. We want to push our weight into our hands. Spread your fingers, ground yourself there, push yourself up. For most of us, this is our first downward dog of the day. So pedal yourself out. Release your hips in any way you feel necessary. And we're just going to hold downward dog for a few breaths. One big inhale and I want you to exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Slowly walk yourself up to the top of your mat now. Take your time. Enjoy these little stretches. We're going to meet in forward fold. I want you to bend your knees generously today. We're not here to be flexible and to stretch. We're here to be kind and to nurture. Bend your knees. Relax your arms, your head, your neck, your shoulders. You can sway yourself side to side here. You can nod yes, you can shake your head no. You'll feel your scapula and your neck and your spine loosening here. I want you to plant your hands on the ground. We're going to straighten our left leg. We're going to bend our right knee. We're going to plant our right palm. We're opening up to the left. So your left leg is straight. Your right leg is bent and we're opening up the left side. So you can reach your hand up to the ceiling. If that's not accessible to you today, just hold your hand out to the side. Whatever feels nice. We're going to drop our hand back down and we're going to go the other side. Straighten your right leg, bend your left knee and open up to the right. We're going to continue swapping over just a few times on both sides. We're going to inhale to open. And exhale back to centre. 
Inhale to open. Exhale back to center. One more time on each side. Inhale to open. Exhale to center. Inhale. And exhale. Now, generously bend your legs here. You want to get your chest and your stomach sitting on the top of your thighs. I want you to tuck your head under. We're just going to slowly roll up vertebrae by, by vertebrae. Take your time here. Roll up to standing. Just take a step back. Give yourself a shoulder roll once you get to the top here. Loosen your shoulders and your head and your neck. So you'll be at the top of your mat here. So if you just want to scoot yourself back to the back of your mat, we're going to inhale and reach up to the ceiling. Grab your left wrist and exhale. Take yourself over to the right. Inhale back to centre. Swap wrists. Inhale. Exhale to the left. Inhale, one more on each side. Exhale to the right. Inhale, exhale to the left. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. And we're going to fold forward. Bring yourself back down to a forward fold. Halfway lift. So here is when you straighten your legs but you have a micro bend and you're lifting up to a flat back position. You can either have your hands on your thighs, you can have your hands on your shins, or you can have your fingers just touching the ground. But what you're aiming to do is keep a straight line from the crown of your head to the top bottom of your tailbone. So however that looks for you today, that's a halfway lift. So we inhale and take ourselves there. Exhale, forward fold. So inhale, halfway lift. We're trying to bring length to our neck here. We bring our shoulders away from us. We're looking straight down to the ground so that it's straight from our back of our neck. And we exhale to the ground. Now I want you to walk your hands out in front. We're going to meet in downward dog. Downward dog again. Going to Bring out, plant our right foot into the center of our mat. We're going to lift our left leg into three-legged dog. Now bend your left leg and open up your hips. We're just opening up our, our dog here. This should feel really good down the left-hand side of your body. Bring yourself back to center and drop your leg. We're going to do it on the other side. So right leg up, three-legged dog. Bend that leg, open up through the right side. You can look under your right armpit here. Straighten your leg back down to downward facing dog. Pedal yourself out a little bit here. We're going to lift our left leg again. We're going to bring it through to a high lunge. So step yourself up between your hands yourself a little bit of movement here. Feel where you're tight in your hips, your hamstring. Make sure that your knee is above your foot, not forward or not behind. We want that to be a perfect right angle. Your back leg can be lifted or you can come down to your knee if that's more comfortable for you today. So find your lunge, left foot forward. Now if you're comfortable here, we're going to raise our arms up. We're just going to take a nice deep stretch here. If you feel you want to, you can add a little back bend. Look to the ceiling. Inhale together. Exhale back down. Step your left foot back, downward facing dog. 
going to lift our right leg and do that stretch on the other side. So right leg up, bring it on through your high lunge, lower your back knee if you want to. Now make sure you're engaging your core here. We want to support our lower back in all of these movements. We don't want to put any extra stress on our bodies right now. So find your position. Inhale, lift up. Arms up to the ceiling. Inhale and take a back bend if you like. Exhale, leap back down. Step your right foot back, down and facing dog. Head all your legs out there, give them a bit of a shake. We're gonna left foot up to the ceiling again. We're gonna bring the left foot through. This time pivot on your right foot. We're gonna come up into warrior one. So left foot facing forward, right angle. Right foot turned out 45 degrees here. So if you can see me, it's like our feet are on train tracks. They're not, not like this. You'll find yourself, you'll lose balance. We're gonna open up our legs like this. So warrior one, hands up to the sky. Take a nice deep bend there. Again, if you want to throw in a back bend, go ahead. And we're going to inhale and exhale out to warrior two. So pivot your right toes to face out to the side. Left toes are still facing the front. Our chest is now facing out to the right. We're looking over our left shoulder. I want you to reach forward, up and back. Keeping a nice bend in your front knee, we're stretching now the left side of the body. Bring yourself back to centre. We're going to bring our left elbow to our left knee, we're just going to take a side stretch the other way. Looking up under your right armpit. You can cartwheel your hands down now to frame your left foot. Step yourself back to down dog and pedal that out. On the other side now, lift up your right leg, step it on through. We're going to pivot on the left foot now, left foot faces 45 degrees out to the side, right foot to the front. Warrior one, inhale, take your back bend, Now exhale, warrior two. Right foot out to the side, left foot to the front. Looking over your front arm here. Shoulders dropped, neck long. Tuck your pelvis under here. Hold in your core, we're supporting, supporting ourselves through our core. Now reach forward over your right toes and up and back. Nice side stretch for the right. We inhale, back to centre. Right elbow to right knee. Left arm up and over. Looking up under our left armpit. Cartwheel your hands down, frame your right foot. Step it back to down dog. Pedal yourself out here a bit. Hopefully that's got the blood pumping a little bit for you today. We're going to step, bring our left foot forward. We're going to tuck it up and under. We're coming into King Pigeon pose. So if you've got bad knees, um, please use a pillow or don't bring yourself too deep into this stretch. You can do it reclined. If you have bad knees, please do this on your back. You can bring your legs together like this. But for everyone else, and we want our back leg to be straight. How can I show you? Here we go. Back leg to be straight. Our front leg, the idea is to get it in a 90 degree angle, but 
If that's not possible for you right here today, that's fine. Bring your foot in and under you as much as you need for it not to be hurting you. But we'll just hold ourselves here, neck long, shoulders down in our king pigeon on the left hand side. Deep breath in. And you can slowly walk yourself forward here. We'll take this into a nice deep stretch. You can come down to your forearms. You can come all the way down onto your chest. You can bring your head to the floor if that's accessible today. Honor where your body is at today. You might be able to do this comfortably today and then tomorrow it'll hurt or vice versa, but that's the beauty of yoga. It doesn't have to be consistent. We're not consistent. So holding yourself in your position for one more breath. And slowly walk yourself up. Plant your palms. Tuck the toes of your right foot. We're gonna kick ourselves back up into downward facing dog from here. Your left foot comes to meet the right and pedal it out here. Shake out your legs. We're gonna take that on the right side. So right leg up and bring it on through to your king pigeon. You can also pop pillows underneath your bum here to just hold you up a little bit more. You can use blocks, pillows, whatever you have lying around at the moment. I'm going to take this on the right hand side. A few deep breaths here. exhale walk yourself out to where you find your stretch today you'll find that one leg is is more flexible than the other one side's easier than the other it's always the way so it might be very comfortable for you on this side or it might be even more painful just breathe your way through it the more oxygen we give to our muscles and our body, the more they release and they relax. So if we concentrate on our breath, our body will respond with calmness. If we hold our breath, then we create more tension. So just breathe your way through. You find that after a little while, you can just get yourself down a little bit lower and then a little bit lower. Take a few more breaths here. next inhale push yourself up slowly plant your palms tuck under your left toes and push yourself back to downward dog this will be your last one for today so stretch yourself out however you want to wiggle your hips shake your legs stretch out your feet we're going to walk ourselves up to the top of the mat Take one more forward fold. You can even grab your, your elbows here, relaxing the front of your body. Shake your head, you can even bounce a little bit. You can feel it lengthening through the top of your spine here. So plant your palms. Generously bend your legs or come down into a squat here and gently release yourself onto your bottoms. Fix yourself up. 
want you to bring your feet out to in front of you. Chest up tall here. Knees together. Just take a breath here. Grab your elbows underneath your thighs. And I want you to arch arch your stomach in and your shoulders forward just like we, we were doing in cat pose before this is a really nice opener for your back so drop your head down use your legs to push yourself back you'll feel a beautiful opening across your scapula and your whole back there and then release and slowly come down to lying on your back legs out in front. I want you to bring your legs now up into table top position. I might, might go on the side so you can see here. Bring your legs up to here. We're going to slowly drop and release them to the left hand side. So in doing this we want to be conscious of keeping both of our shoulders on the ground. It's just a nice side stretch and a twist for our backs. Bring your arms out to the side and you can look over your right shoulder to complete the twist. If you need more and this isn't enough today, you can stretch your top leg up and over and keep that straight and you can grip that with your left hand if you want for a more intense side stretch. Otherwise, you can stay here. It's totally fine. On your next inhale, bring your legs up to center. And we're just going to take that twist onto the other side. So drop your knees to the right. Look over your left shoulder, hands out to the side. If you want more, straighten that left leg and grab your toes with your right hand. And just breathe here. On the next inhale, you can release, bring yourself back up to center. Just hug your knees into your chest here. You can roll side to side. You can lift your head up to look in between your knees. You can circle your knees around. Just loosen up your back however you feel comfortable. Just keep rolling around. And then whenever you feel ready, I want you to lie back and take yourself into Shavasana, corpse pose. So we will, we will be here for about 15 minutes, so if you want to grab yourself a pillow or a light blanket or maybe something to cover your eyes from the light, please do so. I'll, I'll give, you, give you a little while to get yourself sorted. down by your side, palms facing up to the sky. <clears throat> you can tuck your shoulders in and under your spine, tilt your chin just a bit to relax your neck, and keep taking your deep breaths. So today, I would like to do something new with you, which is to send healing to you via this video. I'm level two Reiki practitioner, and this is something that I have learnt to do but never practiced yet. It's distance healing, and I'd love to offer this to all of you. 
here today. So get yourself in your most comfortable position. If you, if you want to be laying on your side, please do so. If you feel that you should be on your stomach, do that too. But Shavasana is always a beautiful one. It leaves you very open to receiving. So that's my favorite. Now, eyes closed, deep breaths. It may seem a little strange to you, but it is absolutely possible to receive healing on a distant level. This is something our minds simply can't grasp. That the ideas that time and space are an illusion and don't really exist. So what I'd like you to do is open up your mind and open up your body to receiving and having this new experience with me today. I find that this work is best understood through experiencing it because it's not something the mind can understand, but it is definitely something the body feels. So all you really have to do is relax, let go, release, and open up to receiving this universal energy that I'm gonna be sending you. This healing energy has a consciousness and it knows exactly what you need right here, right now. I want to thank you for creating this space here today and allowing me to share this powerful universal, universal energy with you. Just breathe deep, relax, and open up and receive all the energy healing that you need at this time. This may be beyond what you know or understand with your mind, but if you feel your if you feel you're very welcome to set an intention for this session, if there's something specifically that you're looking for help with, or that you're struggling with, or something you'd like to bring into your life. But please also understand that this energy knows exactly what you need and you don't have to ask for anything in particular. So now I'm gonna close my eyes Go within and begin sending you some healing. have a part of your body that needs healing right now, an injury, an illness, it could just be anxiety or an overactive mind, I invite you to place your hands onto that part of your body. on your breathing and allow this beautiful healing energy to hit you where you need it most.
multiple parts within your body that you feel need healing, please move your hands around to wherever you'd like this energy to go. Otherwise, stay in your Shavasana position and just receive. comfort in knowing that the universe can give you this energy whenever you need it through a conduit like me or just by having our bare skin touch the earth going for a walk with no shoes on or going in the ocean or swimming in a creek the universe is always providing healing for us. So if you wish to continue, you may. Recognize that this energy is still with you as long as you lay there and sit with it. Give yourself the time and space you need to receive today. Know that things have cleared in your body and have shifted and moved. There may be something that you're still holding on to, but that's absolutely okay. If you're ready, you can now begin to blink your eyes open and bring your awareness back to the moment. Wiggle your fingers and toes and bring movement back to the body. Sometimes, we need to sit a little bit longer to shift or to clear or to let go or to even just feel safe enough to fully surrender and drop in. So honour yourself and your body exactly where you are today and in this moment and stay here as long as you want if you're comfortable. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. My soul recognizes your soul. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the kindness within you because it's also within me. I was guessing.
practical too. Could yoga teacher training online really work? <laughs> the reality is that modern technology means. Well, that was almost a flawless class. Gotta love that. <laughs> My soul recognizes your soul. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the kindness within you because it's also within me. In sharing these things, there is no distance and no difference between us. We are united. We are the same. We are one. Namaste. Thank you everyone. Thank you so much for sharing my first Facebook Live with me. I had a lot of fun creating this and I, I felt to do it so, so deeply to give this to you guys and I want to start making these regularly all different kinds yoga videos, meditations, healing, whatever so I'd love, I'd love you to leave some feedback about the video or what you might like to receive from me next I'm open to any ideas oh, thank you Sophie thank you Annie, namaste so I'm, I'm going to leave the video up online. If there's any part of that that you'd like to redo, please go ahead. Um, I'm also going to put it onto my YouTube channel so you will be able to access it at any time. So thank you guys. I'm going to sign off, but please leave me some comments. So much love to you all. Mm.